my beautiful family what's going on it is star mystic and welcome back to the channel thank you so much for sharing your beautiful amazing energy with me thank you to everyone who subscribed to the channel yay please be sure to do so if you haven't done so already hit the bell for notifications check out the description box below has my other social media platforms and all any other information that you will need to know about me is there check it out thank you so i'm here tapping back in um we've got another zodiac reading this time it's cancer with the moon and the number five okay so that's the vibe today and as you know you do not need to be a cancer to receive a message from this reading i believe that we are all one we are powerful divine beings that uh exhibit and express all different parts of the zodiac and elements at different times right um definitely can have this zodiac or this sign in your sun moon rising venus uh north node so on and so forth so let's jump into the reading um i actually want to open up the reading today with the gateway oracle cards by denise lynn so let's go ahead and jump right in to my beautiful cancer collective my beautiful water signs hey cancers uh or <laughs> anyone resonating with this vibe with this energy thank you so much for showing up for yourself and for me in a positive mind frame thank you so much for doing the work i'm so grateful to the most high god in the universe for bringing us together and for covering us always especially as we channel messages for our greater good our healing our development our ascension our protection amen Amen, amen. Thank you for the spirit guides, angels, ancestors, and the most high. Thank you for your love, guidance, protection. Thank you for these messages. And what does the collective need to know about this energy at this time? So the sound or the song that's playing right now is gently. So I'm definitely feeling like a gentle energy or something about being gentle uh, with yourself or something at this time. So we have cultivating prosperity. The abundance of the universe is pouring into my life. Yes. So just to address um, the overall energy here with Cancer, the moon, and the number five, it is very significant, first of all, because Cancer is ruled by the moon. So that's that. And the number five, I feel like is uh, speaking of some changes, uh, possibly even some challenges that you're going through right now. I feel like there may be some changes regarding your uh, prosperity or your finances. You have letting go at the bottom of the deck. I surrender joyously to the ebbing and flowing of life. I was definitely picking up on Pisces as well. Um, cultivating. But whatever it is that you're doing, I, feel, I truly feel like you are on the right path, okay? The abundance of the universe is pouring into your life. Thank you, Spirit. What else do we need to know? Embracing the future. I step into the future with an open heart. Okay, so embracing the future, you step into the future with an open heart. So that doorway is really standing out to me that she's walking through. And I feel like that really speaks to, again, the changes that we were just speaking of, right? Embracing uh, the future or embracing change, right? It's going from one phase to another phase I'm picking up for you. You also have listening with your heart. I trust the messages I receive from my heart. Okay, so that's the second time that the word heart was repeated here. And I feel like that's also speaking of the heart chakra. I feel like there's definitely, and then we had that letting go, right? So I feel like there may have been some, there's something going on in your heart space, okay? Uh, cancer or beautiful people. I feel like there's something you need to let go. There's a forgiveness here, okay? There's some type of pain from the past that you are releasing, letting go and uh, creating a very abundant and prosperous present and future all right i feel like we got at least one more that wants to come out but this is very beautiful energy 
but again i'm being um reminded of that gentleness and to make sure that you're being gentle with yourself so sharing of yourself i am an incredibly generous being so there goes sharing of yourself so what that's given me is to communicate um i was also picking up on gemini um air um Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, a Gemini air sign or something like that could be communication. Um, but sharing of yourself is sharing your life stories. Share where you are in life. What are you going through? Okay. Again, is at the bottom of the deck listening to your heart and awakening ancient wisdom. Deep inner knowing is emerging within me. Okay. I definitely feel like you have a deep inner knowing. I'm actually gonna just throw my little throw blanket on because I am freezing. Whew, it's got really cold. So I was definitely picking up on a wisdom, okay, within you. So now we're actually going to, I wanna go in with the Starseed Oracle. All right, by Rebecca Campbell. Tap in. So you, I feel like you definitely have like this uh, whimsical, magical energy, okay, about you. So I would like um, to get some more uh, clarity, insights about what are these changes going on? What are these changes in regards to this energy spirit? And thank you so much, beautiful people, for being here. Please be sure to like the video, please, if it's digging, if you're digging the vibe, if it resonates, it's greatly appreciated. Thank you, universe, spirit guides, angels, ancestors. What else do we... Okay, we got a car that just flew out and hit the floor. What are you? Earth. Okay, literally. Learning how to be human in the world but not of it. All right? So that hit the floor. So I feel like literally Earth. So there's something about you grounding yourself. You may need to really ground yourself at this time. I also feel like... Of the learning is standing out to me like there are some things that you are learning you're rediscovering at this time it's possible that you may be learning something new at work or maybe school or something like that I'm also getting like you're learning how to be you're learning a new way to be I'm also feeling like you always felt out of place that it was very difficult for you to find somewhere that you felt that you truly fit in, is what I'm getting. Okay. You're different. It's okay to be different. It's okay to be, you know, unique and sensitive. The more that you trust yourself and you allow yourself to express who you are authentically, the quicker you will find like-minded people the quicker you will find a community your community your tribe of people that think the way you do okay wow another portal doors are opening you decide rewards wild card wow yeah definitely i was getting earth energy with this cultivating prosperity and literally you have another portal there's two portals here so you have an opening you have a doorway right now you have a lot of things available to you okay so you decide there's a wild yeah this is like a wild card this is like once you actually make a decision, the universe will find ways to work in your favor, okay, I'm getting. You have to embrace. You have to embrace that all is well. You have to let go of the past, let go of things that weigh you down, okay? And learn how to be more objective, learn how to be more forgiving, learn how to be more um object i keep going back to the word objective learn how to not lead from an emotional perspective okay 
a new earth it's happening keep holding the vision wow we have earth and a new earth it's happening keep holding the vision wow whatever it is that you're doing you're you're wanting wishing hoping for it's literally happening the void stop embrace winter great cosmic womb this is creation wow Ver perspective okay this is creation this is like literally um, the universe reminding you that you have powerful uh, creative abilities, that you are literally forging your own path, I'm getting. Wow. There's, I'm also getting independence, breaking free of something. So we're actually now going to go in with the good tarot. All right, the good tarot, the good tarot by Colette Baron Reed. This is another deck that I don't use so often, so I'm pretty excited. Whoa, very grateful to the most high. Two of water coming out here. And that's making me uh, go back to that let go card in the Gateway Oracle. It had two fish on it. So you may have a connection to a Pisces. I'm definitely picking up on Pisces really strong here. But so the two of water or the two of cups speaks of a loving connection, of a soul connection. I feel like that may be also pertaining to this prosperity um that you are trying to cultivate this relationship you are trying to i'm getting like repair um i feel like there may have been a significant relationship in your life that there has always been a lot of love but you always is something always kind of felt misplaced or out of place or you never felt really a hundred percent like authentically yourself or it never was like uh you know a flow like a real nice flow there was always kind of something wow so we have the fool coming through here um major arcana uh the fool the new beginnings again so this is telling me that excuse me i'm sorry um this is telling me that again with starting over i also feel like someone may have felt very naive in a situation we have the king of air at the bottom of the deck which is the king of swords and i was telling you i was picking up on a gemini a libra an aquarius right so i'm getting that energy again so this person may be one of those signs or they possess these qualities and what i'm getting right now intuitive with intuitively with this card is someone who may be a little stoic maybe a little rigid not very um open all the time emotionally they can be at times emotionally unavailable but they are reliable um extremely reliable when it comes to getting things done okay to the best of their ability i also feel like this person may be be older than you or, or you may be older than this person is maybe an age difference okay here but I feel that there is a starting over there's a starting over there's new paths new portals new doors new opportunities you want to start something over and something fresh okay thank you sir So now we're talking. <laughs> we got temptation coming out here on uh, the number 15. So, oh wow, a five, right? Five and a one. So again, I feel like that's you wanting to start over, uh, trying to overcome these conflicts, these challenges. So uh, temptation speaks of Capricorn energy. Okay. So more earth. So sharing of yourself, sharing of yourself, I feel 
that in the past it's quite possible that you overshared and that caused you to withdraw just a bit but spirit is of oh, the universe is reminding us to balance our energy moderation okay moderation and I'm also getting with this temptation card that letting go again that there are some things there may be some temptations maybe there are some foods that you need to not stop eating um there's something there's something that tempts you all right and the universe is reminding you to overcome that temptation energy we have the magician at the bottom of the deck the number one so we have the fool and the magician so i feel like first of all that you are very wise and that you have a lot of innate power and abilities within you all right and you absolutely are forging this new path for yourself i'm also picking up uh, with the page of fire right behind that there may be a child involved Oh, yeah, there may be a child involved. And I just noticed that the nine of earth or pentacle was turned over. Again, speaking of the independence, okay? Um, and about uh, promising financial uh, standpoint, okay? Anything else for the cancers? Anyone resonating with this energy? I hope this is making sense. So we have the hanged man, the number 12, all right? And the seven of air, the seven of air. So what I'm getting with the seven of air or the seven of swords with this hangman energy, and look, we have the tower at the bottom of the deck. There's a lot, lots of changes and wow, the world is right behind it. So that's a very powerful shift, okay? That's a powerful shift that has happened or is happening in your life. It's big changes. It's a lot of completion. And, so, and it's like, it's a big completion. It's a major completion that automatically leads right into a new beginning. Like immediately there's a new start. Uh, but with this hanged energy, with the seven of air, it makes me feel like someone who... Um, Someone who is a very sensitive person, you see how she's kind of surrounded by these animals, and she also is wearing a mask. So this is someone who is not, who does not usually present themselves as authentically as they could. And it's from, they're trying to protect themselves. I feel like this is somewhat of a defense mechanism, okay, it's like a, something that you've learned over time, how to protect yourself is to not really show who you really are. Which is, I feel like someone who's very sensitive, very pure, very loving, um, you know, maybe even a bit naive at times with this full energy or that I don't usually always get with the full card, okay? But I feel like there's, there's something going on. There is some type of risk that you're willing to take at this time. Again, with learning something new, right? Um, and, and this hang energy is, speaks, again, of enlightenment. Okay, it speaks of you learning something within yourself. Maybe you learn something about yourself. I feel like you may surround yourself with very innocent energy, which is animals or children or nature, things like that. All right. But it's like you feel like those those things understand you. You feel like the animals understand you, the children, right? That pure energy, it makes you feel safe and understood, right? So, and I feel like, um, see, that's the reason why that share yourself um, is out here because it, it can really benefit you to open up a bit more and share yourself so that the people around you, the people who do care about you, know who you really are, know the things that you like, right? Know how to treat you. Know how you want to be treated, okay? Okay. So we are actually going to go in with the Moonology. Uh, Y'all know the, the good old faithful, the Moonology Oracle cards. Let's see if we can get any uh, messages. Get the uh, 
angel deck after this. I was just so good looking at. Alright. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you for these messages. Okay, that flew out immediately. Expect powerful change. You see how quick and explosively that came out? Expect a powerful change. New moon. This is new energy coming through for you here. Expect a powerful change. It's a powerful shift. Okay, again, thank you, Spirit, for all this confirmation. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Full moon in Capricorn. Heavy on the Capricorn energy. There's definitely, you can be a Capricorn involved in here. Or this can be regarding uh, earthly matters, your home, okay, or your work. Be bold and make the first move. Yeah, see, that's definitely a, a, a message of, again, stepping out of this shell or stepping out of this um uh you know reclusive energy be bold make the first move take time to breathe out that's that hanged man energy so take the time you need to make sure that you are well that you are balanced okay anything else spirit Take time. I also am picking up on somebody that may have a lot of anxiety and I'm getting um, like a breath work, breath work and meditation. Your hard work is paying off more Capricorn energy. OK, new moon in Capricorn and a win win outcome is forecast. Libra, I love it. I love it. A win win outcome is forecast. Don't lose your momentum. Just keep going. Your hard work is paying off. I'm getting that you are being recognized. We're going to go in with the um, angel deck. So I have two angel decks. Uh, this one I use. I typically use. Um, and But they're both two decks mixed together. And this is the other angel deck. Um, all of these, uh, both of those um, mixed decks, they're all uh, Doreen Virtue. These, uh, this one has the Romance Angels and the Angel Therapy. Yeah. Okay. So I'll, I'll coin this, um, combination, the, um, Angel Love Therapy, uh, deck. Okay. Angel Love. Angel Love Therapy. Yes. I love it, Ashe. Amen. Angel love. So what is the messages from the angels, the most high in the universe, uh, for the cancers or the anyone that will resonate at this time, the collective in regards to this energy? What else do we need to know? So we have playfulness coming out here. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Yeah, loosen up a little bit. It's okay to be you. It's okay to have fun, you know. Hello from heaven. Your loved ones in heaven are doing fine. Let go of worries and feel their loving blessings. Again with the let go. That's reiterated twice here. All right. So definitely you have to release some worry. Release the worry all as well. And let yourself feel the essence and the energy of the divine, the most high God and the Holy Spirit. Okay. We have career transition. Your life purpose is triggering a blessed career change. Thank you for that confirmation, Spirit, because that was that change that we was picking up with that number five, right? We've been talking about some changes, yes, in regards to possibly our career or our prosperity. So you may be experiencing a career transition, right? Meaning a different role within the same employment, or you may be encouraged to transition to a another career or to do your craft full time all right or, or put more energy into your craft into your natural gifts so we have nature coming through here as you uh i'm sorry nurture 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 as you nurture a child you nurture your own inner child both activities are important for you right now 
I was picking up actually on that nurturing energy with that seven of swords, right? Um, so I feel like you have a very nurturing spirit. I feel like you have a connection again to animals, to children, all right? And there's something about the relationship between you and your child or between you and maybe children and animals that as you nurture, you, as you nurture them, as you love them, you're helping to heal a certain aspect of yourself, okay? Next, we have brilliant idea. Yes, your idea is divinely guided. Please take action to bring your idea to fruition. So again, picking up Sagittarius energy, okay, actually with this, but they actually want you to go forward, move forward again with this idea, with this transition, this career transition. All right, so if you've got a, a great idea, if you've, uh, you know, got some type of epiphany or eureka recently, maybe, you know, that's the one. The universe spirit is saying, take action. So I really hope that this helped in some way. Thank you so much for being here. I love you eternally, and I will see you all really soon. Peace.